The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, uh, Larry Pesavento here for TFNN. We're going to be talking about this trade here that we have working today in November soybeans. We were looking to buy them at 11.57 today for so many reasons. So we've got all the ABCDs coming down in here. Uh, the number, the 1.618 expansion came in here. We, we shaded it by here a tick or two, but we said to buy at 11.57 with a stop at 11.46. And if it closes above 11.56, and doesn't go crashing down tomorrow, we're going to raise our stop a little bit. But look what it has. It got multiple ABCDs. You can see them, uh, everything expanding here. Remember, this is over since the beginning of the month, so this is pretty good. So this is what you wait for. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. You know, that's basically the, the bottom line. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about, I'm going to talk as much as I can about my good friend Jim Twentyman. I met Twentyman in 1964 when I moved to uh, California for the first, uh, well, it was the second time. And I was uh, started working for Lilly then. And uh, he was uh, one of the brokers at the um, Clayton Brokerage Office there in the Howard Hughes Building, right there at the corner of Wilshire Boulevard and Little Santa Monica. And uh, we would... Uh, you know, have a uh, you know nice little group there. Uh, Howard Hughes would land his helicopter on the thing when he was going over to the hospital there at UCLA, or to some of his other oil companies that he has. But that's where he, he was. That's where it was. One of the largest buildings in LA at the time. It was 20 stories, and Clayton Brokerage had the uh, bottom bottom floor. It was owned by Roy Longstreet, uh, the great trader who wrote the book. Uh, few points of a commodity trader his son bill happened to be good friends but jim uh, was one of the major brokers there along with roy fassel who was the manager of the office well what happened was in 68 uh, conti commodity opened the office across the street in a 22-story building called the mcculloch oil building owned by arm and hammer and uh, that's when they had the top floor, big room, and they moved over, and Jim went with Roy to become a broker, and he brought with him uh, two of his best accounts. One was named Rick Barnes, and the other one was named Mike Marcus. Both uh, Mike Marcus worked for Commodity Corporation, and Rick Barnes was just a, a regular broker who had made it big in soybeans, and so he moved over there, and then later uh, he be, uh, the broker that uh, – Bruce Covenor picked, who everybody knows in currencies, um, he became uh, Jim's broker. And, of course, Jim got really busy from that time up until – well, he was busy all the time, but uh, so many things happened. During, I mean, I can't tell you all of them because it would take too much of time. But let's give you a history of how close he was to some of these folks out here. Uh, Jay Crosp, who was the first programmer for commodity corporations, he had gone to school at USC – and he was from Mississippi, and his roommate at SC was none other than Speaker of the House, Trent Lott. And he's been a friend of, until Jay passed away. Jay died on the day that they had the OJ chase. I don't remember. It was in it was in June of, I believe, 94. Yeah, June of 94. And uh, so it could have been 95. Don't ask me to take a cognitive test because I'm not going to do it. But anyway, we, we did a lot of that stuff. But uh, – uh, Jim was involved with a, a nice nice young lady from uh, the Beverly Hills area, and uh, Margot Grant, and she was in charge of catering at the Milken Institute or the, the Drexel Burnham office. It was on the corner of Wilshire and Rodeo, and that they had a f commodity department on the floor on the bottom floor. That's that's where I worked, and and stocks. Of course, there were 22 brokers down there, and the other three floors were all uh, uh, Milken's people. And Milken owned the building because he had made so much. During 1975, he made more money than McDonald's. Milken did personally because of junk bonds. You want to know how that was done? 
read the book The Den of Thieves by James Stewart. Stewart's on a guest on CNBC all the time, so that's something you don't have to don't have to worry about. But uh, I heard this morning uh, I got news from his girlfriend that Jimmy passed away this morning in front of his machine. I might be getting a phone call here pretty soon from her because I haven't had a chance to talk to her too much and I want to get some more information about, you know, but he, he did so much. When we were at Drexel, uh, I, the fact is I got so busy at Drexel in 78, I asked him to uh, come over and work as a broker and he liked being close to Margo because she was in the building all the time. Plus he liked the clientele that I had. We had all kinds of Dodgers and Rams and Lakers were our customers and stuff. And he, he was a big fan of Jerry West and he happened to be uh, in the office quite a bit. And uh, so he would come by and chat with us and it was just really a you know different lifestyle for us. And so he worked together with me until 1979 and then he went back to work for Commodity Corporation. He stayed with them for about 15 years. Jim is the person that has studied uh, uh, Grant. Uh, Grant, uh, what's the dude's name? I'm trying to think of. Oh, just a minute, boys and girls. I'm going to have to take that cause that cognitive test here. <laughs> just a minute. Uh, oh dear, isn't it amazing how something will just slip away from that? I guess you folks will have to get rid of get ready that uh, W D Grant. There you go, Larry. Try to get it right. Okay, it was W D Grant. And hold on, I got to refresh this. I want to make sure these things are updating pretty much what we are looking at here because we're making new lows as we speak here in these November beans. But keep your stop in. Don't worry about it if it doesn't work. But uh, when Jimmy was there, he was really involved with uh, this stuff. And at the, the Investment Center bookstore that Dan Mark Dan Mack owned, uh, they had an office there for uh, – uh, what was his name? Jerry – Oh, there's another one here. I'll remember it a sec. I'll remember just a second. He was a pharmacist from SC, and he was big with GAN stuff, and Jimmy wanted to go over there and study. So I made an arrangement with uh, Drexel. I said, look, we're going to pay him for those six months for research, and we were making a lot of money. So we paid him during those six months. He went over there, and he studied. I mean, he studied and studied. It ended up being over a year that he did it, and uh, he did a little brokerage stuff in between, but that was his main job, and we studied everything. We uh, found out that uh, Gant, Gant had three children. Uh, there was a dentist and a, a bond broker for Dean Witter and a daughter. The daughter wouldn't talk to us at all. She just didn't want to have anything to do with her father. The two boys said their father was basically a workaholic. He lived on the uh, worked up on the third floor of their house there in West Palm Beach. Um, he went. He traveled some to Egypt and to Europe and stuff like that. Never with his family. They didn't take vacations together. He owned a, a, a fishing boat, a yacht that was called the Coffee Bean. And when he died, he left an estate of about two hundred and fifty thousand dollars in liquid assets, uh, plus a few uh, intangible assets that uh, had a value, but you know were not involved in the will. So he didn't leave anywhere like fifty million dollars. Or anything like that. Twentyman's specialty was uh, numbers. Um, that's you know he was helped. He was one of the founders or the guy that built that the, the uh, trading thing for CQG. Not the trading thing, but the chart the chart system. Jimmy was involved with getting the data and making sure that the data was clean and pure. And if you've ever had a bad tick, you know how important that was. You never had a bad tick with Twentyman's data. That was his major thing, along with a lot of others. We're going to be right back. 877-927-6648 in honor of JT. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. 
Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. To talk about this market. This is the Dow Jones. The S and P is pretty much the same. It went a little bit higher than the than this one, the other one. But there, from the high to this low, your three eight two came in right here, and you see that was at uh, basically thirty eight thousand uh, four hundred. It got to thirty four thousand uh, eight eighty seven. Uh, you know, four hundred bucks against you. But here's where the real three eight two is. That's off of this high. So once it makes a lower low like this, you have to recalculate it because there's your true 382 for the day comes in right here, just like we recalculated it right here. That was a 382, if you remember. Anyway, that's what we're watching here today. Right now, the market's just backing and filling. In fact, that it hasn't broken below the previous low. We have a little three drive to a bottom pattern that happened right here. I'll just draw that one in so you folks can see it. And now uh, we're just taking, oh, that's not the one I wanted to use. Hold on a second here. One of my favorite uh, memories of Jimmy was Jimmy really liked airplanes, and when we were at Drexel, he bought a four-seater Piper Cub, and I not don't like to fly in small planes, but he convinced me that he was living in Boise, Idaho uh, at the time. This was in 79 when he left, and he went up to work for Commodity Corporation, and he bought this. Uh, he had bought the plane a year earlier. He was a very experienced pilot, but we went up there, and uh, as we came into uh, Pro, uh, what was it, Provo? Yeah, Provo, I believe. Yeah, it was Provo, and uh, we were. It was in, it's in. It's in between the Wasatch Mountains, and the winds get really bad. They always warn you, and so and there was a storm coming in, and oh my God, it was. I I really thought that was it. I mean, I was praying the whole way, cussing at him for letting me take him on this thing, and finally, we were bobbing and weaving and bobbing and weaving. We finally got down and landed. And I got off the pouring down rain, soaking wet. I got on the ground and I kissed the ground and I say, I will never, ever 
get on a small plane again. And, of course, when I went back, I flew southwest because there's no way that I was going to uh, go through that again. But uh, he laughed about it. We joked about it for years. But, uh, man, I, I puked all over that airplane. He made me clean it up, which I should have. But, boy, it was uh, – it wasn't much in my stomach anyway, which was good, but oh God, it was terrible. Another memory, they're coming quickly now. He liked to play blackjack, and from the Drexel office to Las Vegas to Caesar's Palace was about a two hour and uh, 40 minute or less uh, uh, driving point. Of course, Jimmy had a, a Porsche or a Corvette, always one of those fancy cars, and he'd make it over there in about two hours and 20 minutes. He'd play blackjack, and then we would come back. Uh, you know, back to work for me there in the morning. We got there at six, and uh, you know, we worked only till twelve those days because bonds closed at twelve. Bonds didn't come out till seventy six. But on one particular flight coming or drive coming back, we were at Barstow, California. It was about four in the morning, and uh, we stopped to take a little break. And uh, JT says to me, he "says Do you see what I see?" And I looked over there. I said, "Are you kidding me?" I said, that's a UFO. And he says, you bet your life it is. And it was a thing, really long, cylindrical, cigar-shaped. And uh, I've got a host and uh, I've got a call. They, see, they don't tell me. I, how am I supposed to know this? No one rings the bell. Hold on just a second here. And we have a call from a uh, question. You, so how, do you, how I selected the, the soybean contract? Uh, it's a question. Thank you very much. I got it, and we're going to take it, take it right now. We're okay. The question is, why did I select the November soybeans? November soybeans are new crop soybeans, folks, and that means they're not even planted in the ground. The guys in Iowa, Illinois, Indiana, Arkansas, Mississippi, they're just now thinking about what are they supposed to be talking about, you see? So they don't even know what those are. So these are the ones that's going to have crop scares. And I've been in this business 62 years. I've never been in a year where we don't have at least one or two or three crop scares per year. Okay? So that's why I'm looking at November beans. Because if it's right and we get it right, we got a chance to add contracts. In other words, pyramid to position. In other words, we're going to buy one or two here. And when the market comes back, we're going to buy one more. And then the next time we'll buy two more, then we have five. Hopefully we get as many as 16 or 20. I've done this before. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But if it works, you're going to be risk-free the whole way up because we're going to be adding with profits, putting our stop in at break-even, so we never have a nickel invert, never have a nickel uh, to uh, to be to be at risk, and that's uh, that's the main reason. So I'll finish this. I hope that's that's a good question, Jeff. Thank you very much. But uh, so we drive. We're in Barstow. We're about five miles, and we stop at Barstow for uh, gas and. Uh, and usually you know, a cup of coffee or something because it's early in the morning. We get there in time for the open. Uh, we had a really nice shower and everything at the at the facility there. It was just like a hotel, so we had our clothes. You know, we could get dressed up for work. And we're, we were there early, so no one cared. So we got, we go into the sheriff's office at Barstow and say, sir, sir. He says, we've, we've seen an unidentified flying object. He says to me, he says, wow. He says, really? And I said, yeah. He says, we really saw it. He says, get out of here. Go home. What do you mean go home? He says, we get that report every day. He says, they're here all the time. I said, where do they come from? He said, we don't know. He says, we know one thing. He said, they're not from this planet. This thing was so big. It looked like it was about two football, about a football field and a half away. It had blue and uh, green lights around it. And it was uh, just hovering there. No noise, folks. No wind, no nothing. Just hovering. You know, how do you get a thing that big? It was the size, the size of a Boeing. And uh, poof went straight up just like a rocket ship so that's why i always watch ancient aliens because i know they've been here because i've done seen them never saw one after that uh but that's uh, what we're looking at here okay that's uh, i've got the ym up here let's go back to those november beans since some people have an interest in it let's uh where are we at here hold me just a second i got my sheets all messed up here i've got the i've got a cascade here for a minute folks hold on here uh just one second. Oh, window cascade. Okay, now I got to get the Novembers. Here they are, right here. They're still trading in this range, right here. Okay, that's what we're looking at, right here. Let's see. I'll have to refresh this because uh, I think when I'm on the air here, I use a little bit how. Well, we're still. We still haven't had the low has been so far. 
55 and a quarter. So we're only out to 75 bucks right now. The risk on this is $10 right now, but I'll tighten it up if we if we do get a rally coming out of here. I'll certainly do that. Let me show you what I mean by by if this is correct and this is the bottom, this is what I want to do. Let me get this down here like this. Let's assume that that we are here at uh, 1055. Okay, see beans got to 13 something. Now they're down at 11. So they dropped $2. Here's my game plan. We buy the first unit right here. Okay, the market comes back and it pulls back as long as it pulls back and it's got a heaven. We buy another unit right here. Okay, we could buy another unit right here and we buy another unit right here based on the numbers that we're looking at. So but now you have two, four, eight, you could have 16 contracts right here and not have any risk at all. And then you hope for the big run. But once it goes down below this, you know, you'd have to have your stop right below here. Then you say, uh oh, you'd still come out with a nice profit. Because remember, you got three units here. You're up to, let's see, two, four, six, eight. You have eight contracts here. No, two, three, five, eight. You'd have eight contracts here. Okay, so you're in risk free. And then you got it made, if that's right. And hopefully you're going to see something where the market just goes. You know, straight up, but you know that doesn't always happen. But in a in a crop scare, it certainly could. We're going to take a little break. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at tfnn.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV.
Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Now, Basil Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this last Friday, the 14th of Feb. We're looking at the uh, Dow 65 at 38,338. Um, when you think of what happened yesterday, this is really not that great. Uh, but most importantly, uh, I did have a high trend gauge reading, Chapman Wave trend gauge reading. This is Richard Arms trend gauge, but I just used particular two particular numbers on it, and it said that the, the S and P futures should have a rally within. I used to say two days. I'm I'm, I'm now changing that after all these decades to say it's within one. Within one day, this should that's overnight and into the next day, there should be a rally in the S&P futures, which should help the general market. We've already seen that. So what's really important about this is that the high of 38,927 um, took out with the slide yesterday, it took out essentially 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, almost 13 sessions in one. So the question, uh, the, the statement I made for subscribers to my opening call this morning was, um, was that it? Basically a three in one consolidation in one session, a one off. And then I went on to say, if the semiconductors hold well, then yes, a good chunk has been achieved for now. And that's just for this very moment. Um, those round numbers, they keep appearing. And to me, this is something that I cannot ignore. I've never ignored it before. I don't see why I should. And now that the numbers are even greater than ever, I don't see why I should ignore it now. They are telling me that people who are going in and going out are so determined to, to do it right now that they have got the, that's when you see the round numbers. And that just says to me there's a degree of hysteria. It isn't well thought out. It's not a plan that was uh, – it, it was mitigated by the vicissitude of the market. And therefore, you've got to take it very seriously <clears throat> as if to say, what happens to someone who bought um, – well, in this particular case, they could be looking just great. Let's go to ARM, which is a, a stock I've focused on for quite some time. Arm Holdings, PLC, and semis, I believe they do licensing. They're in the sweet spot that is they, in one, in about seven sessions, they've gone from the 70s to a high of 164.00, a round number high. And um, that's really interesting. Why? Because they tumbled within two days, yesterday had a low in the 119s. I mean, that 50-something points, that's a big thats a big decline. And now they're up 13 at 133.34. So whoever sold at 164.00, what do you think they're doing to, today and yesterday? They got their hands off the steering wheel, patting themselves on the back, looks great. What about the people who, who bought it at 164.00? I should have done that. Oh, I didn't think of it. I should have followed the ticks. I would have had the, I would have had the exact volume. Uh, I suppose I could go back and do it. I don't want to do it right now. Um, and they're looking at. They paid 164 yesterday. It was a day later. It's down to 118, and right now it's at 133. Well, that could, in fact, it's a peak E. It could go higher, and it's a leg E in the weekly chart. It's only a leg A. I believe it's an A. Let me just move this. Messy stuff around here. Uh, no, it's a. Is that an A or a B? Let me just double check. Yeah, it's a. It's a leg A in the monthly chart, and that just says looking out over the period of 2024 going into 2025, this should still get on a monthly basis should still get a peak A. We haven't made a peak yet. You have to wait a whole month with a candle, a whole new candle with a lower high to be able to call it a peak. And then it should go to a, a peak B, higher, and then a higher peak C, and then at least a peak D. So for 2024, this is looking great. On a short-term basis, 
it's a little bit toppy. Well, that's had a pretty good consolidation when you're looking at it visually, not the, not the weekly, but the daily. All right, enough of that. Let's get to our numbers. Uh, did, wait a minute. I did this for the update. Did I do it now? Uh, I'll just do it. Let's just do it real quickly. The Dow right now is up um, $48, not acting all that well at 38312 I should mention for uh, subscribers here. Uh, we are short on a short-term trading position. We've still got our call longs from way back. Um, so short-term there. We've got the S&P doing not too badly today. The S&P is actually trading up um, 26 points. Well, after the drubbing it took yesterday, this is not great, but it's certainly better than going because that would have been a Chapman Wave uh, Roman candle, very small one yesterday. So at any point today, if this... S&P was trading at uh, for 60 minutes or more uh, below 49.44. It's way up. It's at 49.80 right now. Uh, that's going to say you're going to test yesterday's low. But in the meantime, it's holding pretty nicely. I should mention we are we have a, a short position. Uh, looking at the uh, IWM, the Russell 2000, trading up 2.63 at 197.20s. Um, it did go to a peak C, but that peak C was under that peak D, so they could fail right here. Uh, the stochastic's only a 73%. The MACD is positive, but barely. Nine print is over the 14. So this is a work in progress right now. What happens next? I think I think it's just trapped in a rectangle formation. Looking at the, um, I wanted to go to. I said I'd go to the semiconductors up uh, three, up four dollars at 203.30. Um, all-time high, 204.20. I need to just double-check here. Um, 207.12. I knew I had forgotten to update that. 207.12. So that was a pretty big pullback, uh, giving back three sessions. And now it's going right back up again. So the, until the semis are done, there is going to be internal strength, and I would not ignore that internal strength. Uh, within that context, what I am looking at here is uh, I want to look at NVIDIA. And NVIDIA, there we go. Oops, don't type it there. Type it here. NVIDIA. NVIDIA. So it had a bunch of round numbers. It was 746.11 high three sessions ago. It had a 726 high and a 704 low, I believe. And let me just double check that for yesterday. I mean, these round numbers are just amazing. 734.50 was the high. It opened at 704.00. And what happened? Uh, 726. Oh, that was the day before. It opened the day before at 726. Let's go to these round numbers. No round numbers yet today. Um, it went 7.30.06, <laughs> six cents higher for the uh, the low of the day. It did open at 7.32.02, and it's trading right now at 7.38.34. You can see this, the, the internal strength of the semiconductors. Uh, we did not, we wanted to get a short position yesterday. We, it had to be under certain conditions. Those conditions were not met. And um, if they were met, it would have been good. But they weren't met, fine. We're out of it. We didn't go into that. I'll be right back. I just as we as we get into the break, I just wanted to show you gold. Uh, gold is down eight. It's gone below the left side low of the quarter to correct anticipation. I'll be back in a moment. Dow's up 55. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years 
years' experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up to over the ad. Oh, okay. All right, back, folks, we're back. So, sorry for the interruption, but that was uh, Jim Twentyman's sister, and I needed to talk to her, and she needed to talk to me, and attorney stuff, you know, the usual baloney. Anyway, like, look at the November beans now. We had a low of 55 and a quarter. We bought them at 11.57, so they're up uh, 11, well, we're up we had a quarter cent, so that's $12.50. At least it's not losing. So what we're going to do is we're going to have our stop here at 11.46, but because we're right at the 1618 and it goes below that, and we know that's not good, we're going to raise our stop to a price of, hold on one second, let, drum roll, please, drum roll. We're going to put our stop in at 1151. So that means that you're going to be a farmer for the price of $300. You don't have to borrow anything. You don't have to own anything. All you have to do is have that contract for November beans. I think they're going to go off the board at $15. That's $20,000 $20, higher. And the reason why I think that, let me show you. You can get here. We'll get the weekly here. They've been there before, folks. Here's where we are now. Okay, we're right at the 786. You'll see this the long-term weekly. There's another reason why we like them so much. There's the 786 right there. And uh, it's mother, God, and country stuff, so... Uh, I don't know why that says 1165 because that's not 1165. The last price, hold on, that can't be right. That don't worry, folks. The last price is 1157. Uh, make sure. Yes. Okay, I got it. 104. Thank you very much. Anyway, that's one of the reasons why I'm looking at it here. Uh, you'll see this is the kind of move that we're looking for. If we get that kind of move, we're going to make a lot of money. Maybe get a little move like this, but I think we'll get a move. But 1157 was a number. You can see here 1158 was a 786. All that work we did on the four hour said that we were down here. And you can see they're trading at 1157, which is different. I don't know why that is. It's a problem with CQG data here today, which is very unusual. The fact is, I can't even call 20 anymore to complain. When I called CQG this morning to tell him that, uh, that they had passed away, I could hear people in the, the uh, background gasping because Jimmy was one of the first employees for CQG 30 years ago, and he built a data service for CQG, which is the greatest data service for charts. Never a bad tick, folks. I know nobody else has that. You'll see a lot of bad ticks with this stuff, but not with 20 minutes. His work was, he knew how to do that, and he was very, very good at it. He and I built, he and I built, I paid, I, I shared the cost of building a computer for him back in 1970 where we where we started looking at Fibonacci numbers and it, uh, uh, for, what do you call it? Uh, 
uh, moving averages are um, that are moved forward uh, that Jay Cross talked to us about. And so, or told us about. And Jay was one of the first programmers at Commodity Corp, as I mentioned before. Anyway, I, mean, I spent the first two hours of the day in tears and then laughter and a lot of other stuff talking to a couple of us, our buddies that uh, knew each other and were friends. But boy, they're going by the wayside so fast here. It's a, it's a little bit troubling. All right, let's move on here with a few of the other things that we need to be uh, chit-chatting about here. Uh, let's talk about the crude oil here today. We've had a little move in crude oil. We made, I got stopped out of the original position. Okay, yeah, I'm, I, I want to apologize for that, folks. You understand when something like this happens, there's nothing else you can do. Here's what we're looking at here. We always talk about the 382, don't we? So this was the, uh, get this out of the way here. Uh, this was the big move that we got here on the long-term daily. Uh, what I did is wait for the first break, which was a uh, oh, buck, buck and a half. And all I said, okay, then what we have to do, uh-oh, I said I can't see the screen. All right, thanks for telling me that. I thought that I did that screen share and stuff, but let's get up here, change windows. There is a screen that we have. Okay, click the screen. Now I think we're going to be ready. Thank you, folks. I, <laughs> I'm amazed that I can even do this. I hope we can see it now, right? All right, here's the high in crude oil. One more time. Boy, this is really frustrating, Lair. All right, we're coming over here to the screen. It says sh sh sh. Now I'm gonna hit I'm gonna hit change screens. I'm gonna click the screens. That's what I do. I come in here and the screen that's here, I'm gonna click the one that says screen. And I hit go live. And let's see. I hit screens. Let me get I there's a thing that says screens. It says stop streaming. Okay, let me try it again. Share screen. Okay, I see there was a problem. My fault. Little technical stuff. Going to make it to the break anyway. Anyway, here's where we are here with the with the uh, crude oil. That, uh, tell me that that's it. Let me know, would you, uh, Jake? Ah, 10-4. Only after 20 tries did he get it right. Here is the 382 right here. Right there. It went just not there, right there with 78.75. Now, that's a break even. But what we're looking for, with any luck at all, is that this is, remember, this is a short term pattern, but there's your ABCD leg. We're looking at it to get down here to 30, uh, right around uh, 76.43. That's what our goal is. Now, our stop is at break even now. So then we've locked in a, you know, a pretty good profit on this. So that's the one that we want to be watching for uh, very, very closely. I'll be doing more uh, about the uh, things with soybeans and the coming week. If it works, if it doesn't work, we'll, we'll figure out why. And sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. But let me check the time left. I don't think we got very much time left, but let's just look. we got a few seconds. When we come back from the break, I want to show you another potential trade that looks really interesting. And that is in natural gas. And being Italian, I know all about natural gas. And we're going to get it up here just a second and we'll be talking about it when we get right back so play please stay with us we'll be right back If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years 
years' experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks. This is natural gas up to date over the last several months. You can see here we've got this big ABCD pattern right here. Almost a perfect 382 there, missed it by about two but two dollars uh, per cubic feet. Now there was a target right there. There was your 1618, and so we bought it. Uh, well, we bought it on a stop at 161, and that's what's 16180 now. But let me show you how it got there, which is something you like to see if you're in something like this. You see when you see a spike down like this, folks. This is capitulation. I mean, this is when everybody says, please let me out. There must have been a big order here. So what we did was on the pullback, buy it on the pullback right here, put your stop right here. So you're only risking $2. And if this thing rallies, believe me, it has been under the weather for so long, nobody wants it. And see, there it is. We're back to where we were back here in 2000. That's 2020, 2000, 2020. That's how far we've come down. From that level, it had a good rally. And whether it's going to do anything like this, I don't know. But look at the ABCD. Now, this BC swing is a 1.618 expansion. You see, it should. I think it is. Oh, maybe not. No, I don't think it is. I think it is right. Hold on. Oh, I can't draw it that way. Shucks. That, that's what it is. Yeah, this is a, excuse me, let's get it right. This is a 1.618 expansion right here. When it hit ten dollars, then it comes down, rallies up, bada bing, bada boom. Keep an eye on it. That's all I mean. We look at this on the weekly. You can see the ABCD coming down. Do you like ABCD? And I do. This is something you ought to think of as being new. We're going to take a break until tomorrow. And don't remember Friday we got this wolf trader, Shane Smolian, as our guest. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. And please send some white light out to my good friend, Mr. Twentyman who's out there on his way upstairs. We love you folks. Thanks for joining TFNN. We'll see you on the flip side tomorrow. <laughs>